Hi guys, Miss Bree here. Um, we're going to go ahead and start diving in right into our lesson um, that I created for you. It is all about non-standard measurement. Um, you're going to learn how to measure today with some items around your house. And yeah, it's going to be super fun. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen with you. While I pull this up, um, here we go. So measurement, like I said, you're going to be learning all about measurement. You're going to learn how to measure today. So I have this example for you and it says, I have this pencil. I actually just have a pen. So I have a pen and I need to measure it, but I don't have a ruler at home. Instead, I'm going to measure it with pasta noodles. I know this sounds absolutely positively crazy, but Measuring with pasta noodles um, is actually a form of measurement, right? So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, I'm going to turn my laptop so you can see. So here's my pen. I'm going to put it down like this. And then I have some pasta right here that I had done for my kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and measure my pencil. So I'm going to put one pasta noodle down all the way at the very top of the pencil, the very beginning of the pencil. And now I'm going to put this pasta noodle down, right? So now I have two pasta noodles. Now I'm gonna put a third pasta noodle down. Now I have three pasta noodles measuring my pencil or my pen. And now it looks like I have room for one more perfect um, measured pen, right? So I measured my pen right now with one, two, three, four pasta noodles. So this means that my pencil or my pen is four pasta noodles long, right? We know this to be true because we just measured with pasta noodles, right? This is my form of measurement and we counted one, two, three, four. So this pen is four pasta noodles long. So this goes to show that if you do not have a ruler, a yardstick, a measuring tape, um, it's okay to measure with another type of tool. We know this to be true because the definition of measurement is just simply the action of measuring something um, it does not specify that we need to measure with um, a, y a yardstick. It does not specify that we need to measure with a ruler. All measurement is, is simply just the action. So we took action by measuring a pen and that's it. That's all that it is. So like I said today, you are going to be measuring with non-standard units right? A non-standard unit is going to be something like measuring with pasta noodles, maybe measuring with paper clips, or maybe toothpicks, um, maybe measuring with cubes if you have that available at home. You could even use your hands to measure, okay? So I, or your fingers, sorry, not your hands, your fingers, um, to measure if something is lighter or heavier, right? So I have this box of chocolate and I also have this candle, okay? Just by measuring this, which one is heavier? Well, I know you can't tell because you are not holding this, but I can tell that the candle is heavier because it's heavier than this hand with a box of chocolates, right? So this one is weighing me down a little bit more. And you can practice this at home later with some things in your house, but that's another way to measure the weight of something. You can even, like I said, use pasta noodles to measure the length of a pen, right? Like we just saw. So now I'm gonna show you again, if you were not able to see um, my picture very well, we're going to measure a pencil with pasta noodles, okay? And while I pull this up, I'm going to show you a few different ways um, that are going to be 
um, accurate measuring and not accurate measuring, right? So if I was to put my pencil or my pasta here, and if I was to put a space here, and if I was to put a space here, and then even another space here, is that measuring accurately if there are spaces in between? No, the answer is no. You want to get as close as you can without squishing. So now I'm going to show you another way. And I want to see if you guys, I want you guys to see that um, this way does not work, right? So if I was to now put my pasta noodle this way, and if I was to put another one here, another one like that, maybe one going this way horizontally, and then going this way vertically. Is that measuring correctly? No because I could even put a pasta noodle right in between there, right? And that is not accurate, an accurate um, measuring tool for pasta noodles, right? This does not give us an accurate um, length of my pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. And now I'm gonna try another way. So if I was to go like this and put my um, pasta noodle now, what if I was to put it like this? If I was to put them all like on top of each other? Let's see, is this going to give me an accurate length of my pasta noodles? Nope. You know why? Number one, the noodles are not measured up um, evenly, right? We want to make sure when we measure, if we're not using something like a ruler, we wanna make sure the item that we're using is measured up evenly like this, right? It should be able to complete a string along whatever you're measuring, right? This right here gives me, well, one, maybe one and a half, maybe like a quarter, Right? And then it's like I even have a noodle hanging off. So we know right then and there that is not going to be the correct measurement of my pencil with pasta noodles. Now, lastly, let's try just measuring the pasta noodles up from the very end of the pencil. Now, to the very beginning of the pencil. It looks like, are we there? Are we done? Nope, we still can add, it looks like one pasta noodle left. So here we can see that we have one, two pasta noodles, three pasta noodles, four pasta, wait, yeah, four pasta noodles and five pasta noodles. So we can say this pencil is one, two, three, four, five pasta noodles, long, right? So the key if you're what when you're measuring, the key of measuring is saying how long something is saying that with um you have to just list what you're measuring with, right? So if you were measuring with pens, I would say this um pencil is one pen long, right? If it's, if I had another pencil and if they were the same size, I was measuring it with another pen, I would say this pen, pen is one pen long, right? This pencil is one, two, three, four, five pasta noodles long, just like the one that I measured in person, right, with my pen. It was the same exact length, right? Okay, so I hope that made sense. So now we can say that our pasta noodles are non-standard um, measurement tools, right? So like I've been saying at home, we might not have a ruler available. So you can use just about anything, um, a string of yarn, toothpicks, paper clips, you pick whatever you wanna measure with. So now I would like for you to go pick a non-standard measuring tool in your house, I would like you to pick two items, okay? So if you have 
Uh, I'm going to be using, I have toothpicks, and I'm also going to be using pasta noodles again that I have. These are my measuring tools, okay? This is what I'm going to be measuring with. So I want you to pick two measuring tools, and I also want you to pick two um, items that you're going to be measuring. So I'm going to be measuring a box of wheat fins and also going to be measuring a picture that I painted, right? We are going to be measuring the length. This is the length, right? This is called the width, right? And same thing, this is the length. It goes up and down and this is the um, width. We're only going to be measuring the length in today's lesson. So go ahead, pause this video, grab two items that you're going to be measuring, and grab two items that you're going to be using as your measuring tool, okay? I'll see you back in just a minute. All right, friends, if you, I hope you were able to find some measuring tools and some measuring items. Um, I'm going to go ahead and model how to measure my box of wheat thins with my toothpicks, okay? So I'm gonna put my box of wheat thins down. I'm gonna adjust my screen here. So I have this box of wheat thins, right? I don't know how long it is because I don't have a ruler at my house. So I'm gonna practice measuring with toothpicks. So I'm going to line up one, oop, one toothpick, two toothpicks, right? three toothpicks, and a fourth toothpick, toothpick, right? So now it's okay if there is just a little bit right here that you can see hanging off. That is not enough to worry about. You'll learn what that means when we, when you, um, when we progress in this lesson um, or in your grade. But we're gonna say that this box is one, two, three, four toothpicks long. Um, if we really wanted to get technical, we could say it's one, two, three, and four, or three, and we could say a fourth long, right? or three fourths long, we'll say three fourths, but that is a little bit trickier. So we're just gonna go ahead and say it's four toothpicks long because there's not enough hanging off. So here we have four toothpicks long, okay? It's important to state, remember, what you're measuring with. So our toothpicks were um, our measuring tool. And we could say that our cereal or my wheat thins box was four toothpicks long. We know that to be true because we just measured exactly four toothpicks long, right? There we go. So now I would like for you, um, we're gonna do this together because I know, because um, you're not, I can't see you, right, at home. Um, so I'm gonna be modeling a side view, but I would like for you to try now, whatever um, item you had picked, I want you to get ready and I want you to now model um, how long that item is. So my second option was my painting, right? So I'm going to put my painting down like this, and I'm going to now measure how long my painting is with my pasta noodles. So I have one pasta noodle and you should be measuring your item and tell if you're sitting next to somebody, you can tell them how long it is. So now I have three pasta noodles. I have four pasta noodles. I can still fit some more. So I have five pasta noodles six pasta noodles and seven pasta noodles exactly. Wow, so my picture is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven pasta noodles long. All right, seven pasta noodles long, right? We know this to be true because I laid my picture down, right? I laid it down. I measured the length of my picture with pasta noodles and we counted seven pasta noodles long. So now we have one more time to do this. I would like for you to grab your second item that you got and we can go ahead and get started on measuring that. So now I'm going to measure the length of my box of chocolates and I'm gonna measure that with my pasta noodles again, okay? So lay, your, lay it down flat, just like this. Whatever item you have and go ahead and measure that again. So I'm gonna do that with my pasta noodle. So we have one pasta noodle and two pasta noodles. And we're not gonna count this lid, so we can sit here and we can see that our box of chocolates is two pasta noodles long, right? We know this to be true because we just saw, right? We placed, we did the action of measuring with pasta noodles by going one and two, right? Just like that. Now, if I was to go one, two, three, four, five. Is that accurate, accurately measuring the length of my, pos, or of my um, chocolate box? The answer is no, right? We wanna see how long it is. And by doing that, we have to lay them evenly. We have to lay our pasta noodles evenly Remember, we want to pretend like it is a string. We can even honestly put one more down. And if you want to get super, sorry, this is kind of hard, guys. If you want to get super technical, we can say, there we go. Okay, so now we can actually say, I was able to fit three pasta noodles. So the correct answer is that this box of chocolate is three pasta noodles long, right? So I was able to accurate, accurately measure that. It's always good to measure things more than one time to get the correct number. But before I did not place them um, close enough, I did not place my pasta noodles close enough like this. They were a little bit spread apart. But if you, um, Place your items close enough, right? So you can get the most accurate measured length, okay? So now I wanted to ask you guys a question. Do you think that you can measure, if you don't have a measuring tool like a ruler or yardstick or um, even something to measure the weight, like we did the candle and we did this box of chocolates earlier, do you think you're able to measure at home without a scale too? Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Your answer should be yes, because you just modeled that, right? We are able to model, um, or we are able to measure um, anything at home. We are able to measure with non-standard units. So using anything at home that you have, right? You're able to measure something as long as you always state what you are measuring, you are good to go, right? So now I want you to um, add a little bit of homework if you have time. I would like for you to measure something at home and go share with somebody in your family, in your house, maybe a friend, go share with them what you learned, how you measured, whatever you're measuring, and what measuring tool you used and how long it was with that measuring tool, okay? So I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Um, I had so much fun teaching this lesson. Tune in next time and we're gonna learn how to measure um, with rulers and other um, measuring tools that um, 
are considered uh, the real measuring tools, right? So have a good rest of your day. It was so fun teaching you. Bye.